Hey everyone, this is JB here and welcome to the channel. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to use external storage like a USB flash drive on your iPhone devices. Hey everyone, this is JB here and welcome to the channel. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to use external storage like a USB flash drive on your iPhone devices. Now before we dive in, I want to stress out that you must be updated to iOS 13 as this method will not work in the later version of iOS. There are things that we need to prepare before we proceed with the tutorial. Now first, grab your chargers and you must get one of these. This is the USB 3 camera adapter, which is a lightning connector for your iPhones and iPads. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using 120 gigabytes from Kingston. This is a DT50. And of course, we need our iPhones. This one I'm using right now is the iPhone 10, 256 gigabytes. And I don't have plans to upgrade yet to iPhone 11 because there's no reason for me to upgrade. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as I post new videos every Sunday. Now let us proceed with the tutorial. All right, for the first step, grab your USB 3 lightning adapter and in the USB type A port, insert your flash drive like this one. Okay. And we will plug the accessory, the lightning accessory to our iPhones. Okay, in here. All right. Now, as soon as you have inserted it to the phone, there will be a notification that our external storage device requires too much power. In order for us to solve that problem, just take your chargers and insert your charger to the lightning port of the accessory. Now that notification will be gone instantaneously. Let us proceed in opening our files from the thumb drive. Just open your files app and find the name of your flash drive. In my case, that will be Kingston. Open that. And right now I'm able to see all the files listed in my flash drive. So what are the cases when you would want to use an external storage device on your iPhones? If you need to send some files from your flash drive through emails and you don't have any access to a computer, you can easily do that here using this method. Just open your files from the Files app and send them directly through any of your email apps. In my case, I use the Spark app. Document editing is also possible. Just open your documents from your thumb drive and use one of your document editing apps. Like for example, I have here Pages. And yeah, you can actually just do document editing on the go. Some of us may have a limited amount of internal storage on our devices. What you can do in order for you to maximize your internal storage is transfer some of your photos and videos to the thumb drive and save some space on your iPhones. You can conveniently stream some supported video files. Play music files from your external storage. You can send files directly from your thumb drive to any of your Apple devices through AirDrop. You can also transfer some of your music files directly from your thumb drive to your iPhone storage. In my case, I use the app called Every Music Pro, and I believe it is one of the best offline music player app in the App Store, as it has a lot of functionalities. Speaking of Ever Music, the Ever Apps team reached out and provided 10 free gift codes for the Ever Music Pro app in the App Store. I have used one of the codes, so I still have 9 free gift codes remaining. Might as well give you the remaining gift codes, just comment down below the reason why would you want to have an Ever Music Pro app. I will be choosing 9 best comments and announce the winners on my next video on the 2nd of February. 
If this video added value to you, you might want to smash that like button, hit and subscribe, and click on the notification bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post new videos here in my channel. I think that is it everyone, this is JB here in Tech Guy PH, and I hope to see you on the next video. Adios amigos!